This next example will show you how to sync files with your MP3 player. And while we'll be using book files, you can also do the same thing with music. Uh, we are using Windows Media Player 11, and I have already connected my MP3 player to my computer, and it is listed here. When you're doing this for the first time, there, the computer will take sometimes up to two minutes to recognize that the player uh, is, is part of the system. Once you've done that, though, uh, repeated attempts uh, will, will work uh, much faster. So we're assuming right now that you've connected your player and you're re reading it and recognizing it in Windows Media Player. To get ready to sync files, you notice we're in the Library tab. We want to move to the Sync tab. In the Sync tab, this stuff is not all that important. We're going to focus on this area right here. This is where we will drag our files and drop them. Now on my desktop, I have uh, a file, a folder of book files that I placed there uh, so that I can easily sync those to my MP3 player. I've done this because I find that I'm not able to make these happen, make these sync well from the uh, from a, from a CD or from a network drive situation. So my recommendations for you is to move those fold, move a folder of the files onto your desktop so that you're ready to sync, and it will work for you. Um, first of all, we need to select all of those files, and you can lasso it that way. You can go up to edit and you can select all. It really doesn't matter. What the point is I want them selected. I'm going to drag them and drop them in the sync list area. Now it's important to note at this point that my files are not in any particular order. We want to order those files so that will make it easier for the student to use the player and read chapters in the proper order. So I'm going to go up to the Sync List menu and select the drop-down, and I'm going to go to Sort. And I'm going to sort these by file name. And right now they're in reverse order. So let's go back and do that one more time. File name. There. They're in the order that I would like them to be in. The next thing to do is go to our Sync tab, our Sync button, rather, and start the sync process. And you can see that up here there that a process is happening. It does take a, a minute or so, not a speedy process. Depending on the size of the books, it can take a while. Now you can see that they're all synchronized to the device. The next step is to disconnect, and the device is now ready for student use.